Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. As you can see, this is a tire pressure monitoring system, wireless. So here you can see it's not showing anything. Front and rear, it's not showing. This one is front left transmitter. This is right rear left transmitter. This is front left and this is rear left but here it's not showing anything it might be because the batteries are down so let's see how to replace the batteries this is the box in the box you'll find this tool just take it out okay now take one of these for this here we have a lock we need to remove that one In this way if you do not have nails then you can use a small safety pin or something that is made of plastic try not to use metal tools so now now you see this part you should fix here and the top one which has grooves inside you can see it should fit here in this way now turn it turn the top one anti-clockwise Here we see this is the battery we need to replace this one this side there is a lock for battery so push it from this side you push it outside from this side you push it to the other side take out the battery do not take out this plastic here we will check the voltage of this battery actually in some shops what they will do is if the seal of the new battery is open If the seal of the battery is open, what they will do, they will take on LED or a small light and they will show it in this way. They will test it. As you can see, the LED light is glowing. They say they will say tell you that the battery is good. And they will give you a used battery. So never buy a battery that is not sealed. As you can see, this is a Maxell lithium battery CR1632. CR1632 3 volts battery it is sealed as you can see it is totally sealed okay now we will check the voltage of this top is the positive and the bottom side is negative you see it is showing 2.8 volts okay now the unit is on I will insert this 2.8 volts battery nothing happens so now remove this battery the battery which the shopkeeper says that it's good see the light is glowing now take this battery, new one, actually this one also it was not glued properly you can see here, here it was not glued properly, we need to check the voltage of this, maybe this one also the shopkeeper might have opened it little bit and have removed it and used it, there are chances like that. This one shows 3.3 volts. So this one is good. Now what I'll do when I insert this one. You see. 
it shows 00, zero because there is no pressure I have not inserted it in the tire so press any button showing 0 ok now it doesn't show remove the battery I will reset it reset I'll insert the old battery doesn't show anything but it does show you the brightness in the LED shows this one it shows a little more brighter but the shopkeeper will say this is good is gone now I will insert it again and show it to you okay it's good so what now I will close this one and also one more thing I would like to say is that just take a lint free cloth and try to clean the, the inside of this battery holder the negative terminal as well as the top side positive ok now insert it the new battery turn it in this way Now take this cap, the curved part should come on the top side and the flat part should go inside. Yes. Just press it. Now here, for this one, the same thing. Open it. Just remember that if the voltage is below 3 volts, then these sensors won't work these sensors won't work because they will not be having sufficient power to transmit the signals so, oh, push the battery outside take a lint free cloth 4 o'clock pm 28.2 degrees celsius clean it both the sides, top and bottom, clean it thoroughly, take a new one battery, this one was, the seal was broken and brought it to test the originality of the battery, the seal was already broken while bringing it from shop. This is the old battery, it shows 2.8 volts, this is the new one, it's for, it shows 3.2 volts, the earlier one which we removed the seal, it was showing 3.3, .3. this one is 3.2 but it's good, now let me check it by inserting as you see the front left now it is showing zero okay now this one is here actually the gasket of this was torn out it has torn so later I will try to make one gasket for it and if possible I will try to upload a video on that. The gasket is fixed for water resistance. 
so presently this front left it won't get water resistance this is the seal lock just press it so now let's connect it to the vehicle and check so keep this safely so now i'll connect it to my two wheeler front tire and see okay front left it shows 29 so now i remove it you see the rear left is also showing 29 so now the sensors and the unit is working fine there is no problem with this now as you saw now it's see after removing again it's showing zero that's good as you saw that the unit is working fine after replacing the batteries there is no problem with the these units the transmitters these transmitters are working fine just we have to replace the batteries that the batteries new batteries should have should be 3 volts and above 3 volts do not buy the new batteries by testing them with an led light or any other light just check the voltage and purchase it hope this video is going to be helpful for you in replacing the batteries of tire pressure monitor system if this is this video was helpful for you kindly hit the like icon share the video and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed thank you for watching everyone have a good time